Alright, welcome folks to the Banner Saga. The story of the Banner Saga changes based on your choices you make. You will occasionally switch between lead characters, witnessing the story unfold from different perspectives. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survive through a tenuous alliance, driven black destroyers called Dridge deep into the northern wastes. Uh, now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. Interesting. Now I've played a little bit of this. Just got a little bit just to see how combat was and everything else. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I like the idea of playing giants. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the wild That is pretty. Borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. This is very cool. We have been warned by stranded travelers about the brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Nice. This is very, very cool. I love the beautiful scenic view. It's it's pretty gorgeous. And animation. Oh, cool. Hmm. Something's going on. Don't mind us. Awesome. Giants. Very cool. That looks like frame by frame animation. I'm a bit of an animator myself, and that's just gorgeous. Oh, right. We've arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they had bargained for. Dragging the screen over. Alright. Shield bear. Movement. Okay. Let's move over. New target in the stands. Allies are blue, red enemies are red. Targets can now change. You choose to break their armor or their attack. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by breaking attacks. Die. He's down. Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your character. Right, chieftain comes up. Besides so being at full strength, the chieftain uh, will do little damage against the shieldbanger's high armor. Now it's time for the Warhawks. It appears to be a range of these enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost their action. Willpower is a limited resource, so use it wisely. Slide to further use. Well, I get one more will. Red pulses with your wa Warhawk. What's up, buddies? Standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but Warhawk has special abilities. Alright, Tempest. Nice. 
pillaged. I made uh, quick work out of the chieftain's bodyguard when you are only one enemy left. Players in her pillage mode. During pillage, each character moves in order, and there is no more guaranteed turns. Uh, check the initiative to see how. If your character does not move on his turn, he can rest to gain one willpower, and the chieftain will rest this turn. Looks like the chieftain uh, is in some trouble. Your shield man won't be able to finish the job with his normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost your damage. Click the war chief. Exertion stat. Nice. One renown. The foes lay dead. Nice. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched Must man be talking about Ragnarok. To each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off, it just grows a new head. I am in a bad way, mm. my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Alright, so it looks like we stumbled upon a civil war. Only the sun only the sun has stopped. Very cool. Alright. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to a chase. Eric Stewart of Strahan. I manage the governor's business. Ubrin, is it? It is. The governor tells me that you'll be giving us a hand. What exactly do you have in mind? Uh, Straflings are uh, that you didn't hack up the Great Hall scattered after you looked out, uh, took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. I was hoping you'd join me in the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Okay. So just go ahead and head down to the market. Let me handle this. You minger through the rows of open faced houses and uh, inroad stalls. Colored canvases flap in the briny current. One man in particular uh, blanches as you approach. Had. I'm not in the mood today. For, for what? Talking to an idiot. The salt chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Had. So when you tell me that uh, what rat anus the rest of them crawled out back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk to... They don't talk to me. Say nothing. Eric overturns his flimsy table, scattering Hud's assortments of junk across the ground. Gods, Eric... Laying in a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the Scaldines? No man, up to the east wall, but there it was a month ago, last I know. Had sulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel, disappearing for a while until his blows are over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? Gruff, were you wearing green back in the Great Hall? No. Just bought them 
while you were walking around. Why? They look good. I'm glad you care. Uh, goes off to look for at more stalls. I reckon that man of yours seems unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be a scalding. Uh, if you lick their wounds, they'll probably uh, gone to old haunts, not new ones. No man's in the mead hall. Best I can tell, the uh, name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy you would love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Okay. Where's this place again? Shouldn't we have an approach uh, of some sort? What a luxury, come on. You've already mopped up worse today. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual teething. I'll remind him. The Mead House. Is there anything else that we're missing? No, the Mead House. We arrive in front of the what must be noblemen. A few minutes later, our prayers with a weathered, beaten man introduced as Volgar. I'll point him out, Eric says over his shoulder. Ready? You're walking through the front door. They ran to the Mead House, says John. I'll be surprised if they can stand up straight right now. Okay, here we go. Uh, boots the front door open so hard that it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Arik is ready, uh, already at the head of the table. His axe drawn, wide-eyed, drunken, scuttling, scrabble for their, to find their own weapons, train tables, and mead sterns in the process. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, let's put them off to the side right here. Okay, click the ready button. Okay, you. What has you got? Stone wall and move. Just go ahead and move to here. And stone wall. Six. Um, let's see here. What's Rally do? Gives two willpower to an ally in range. You're up first. There we go. Hmm. Turn. And then they'll move up. Let's go ahead and move to the side right here. Tempest attack in turn. Let's go ahead and move up. Oof. Resisted. Deflected. Nice. Let's go ahead and start whacking on this guy, shall we? Solid hit. Very nice. Let's go ahead and move right there, and we should be able to Tempest. Oh, nice. And try to push it. Oh. That's good solid armor. Let's 
Do I whack this guy? Oh. Let's go ahead and whack. See what we got here. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's injured. Let's go ahead and whack him. Nice. Let's go move up. Go ahead and finish this guy off. Oh wow, I didn't finish him off. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this guy off. He's running. Let's go ahead and put more effort into it. Oh. Um, do, 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 do. It's fairly large, but he can't do anything. He is going to rest. Oh, he ain't going to rest. He's going to move forward. In turn. Deflected. Let's go ahead and drop this guy. Let's go ahead and drop him. Nice. Yep, right there. Whack him. Finish him off, please. Yeah, we'll put the effort into it. Nice. Foes lay dead at their feet. This is by blood. Got promoted. Nice. There are, uh, there they are. Gods be damned. I've got to go wash off this blood. Eric is looking out the hall's windows into the bay. A fleet of longships approach that sail uh, of bold reds and blues. One banner I know well, Varon. Uh, next to Jarl Kingship, last we spoke. The other flag looks important. Yeah, important guests. See that I deal with them all day long. Ah, things that make a little more sense. You hope that I'd have a stake in saying something's fine here. When the royal guests arrive. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure there is no writing bodies or pooling of entrails still in the great hall before they come by. Can I ask for one more favor? What is it? If you happen to uh, uh, stall our guests down by on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Uh, I reckon Vana's hustle from the meat house. To his credit, Eric tosses a barkeep a spare silver from the mess. You give an apologetic th shrug and go to greet the new rivals down at the docks. Alright. Let's go say hello. Voyernin. The familiar Jarl steps into the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version trampling the halls of Grofing. Admit it in purpose. Gods are you look ancient. Comes with old age. Uh, comes with being old. And if there's a Zvara here, must be Harkon. Must there? Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old Yok. 
uh, at the age you could uh, lose a sense of shame. Your all demands it. I take that uh, over lingering to death and you're off. Speaking of, I have no sense of where you so far from home. Just returning from Lara, in fact. Glad for it. Uh, motions for the other ships in the bay cells still fl uh, fluttering. Golden wolf heads and um, br brazen on red. The king of men or someone on his behalf. The king's whelp. King's son, Luden. Don't you know, uh, Scrivener? Uh, we visit his capital. He visits ours. It's how you make alliance these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Hara has it. I'd almost forgotten. It's the good thing you're around, Harakon. And you're going to Grom's film? I have a distinct feeling I've uh, finished my business in Strand and be heading there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day and better circumstances. I'll drink in a week week away, but let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. And he's trying to say is the prince's delight to behold. Where is Mongren, and Akron? Have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading up to meet the governor. Host of giants depart in his wake. You recognize a few. Others are strangers to you. Guess I'm off to find Mara. See you in the morning, Scriber. I'll be along. The young prince of men ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic, scanning the beach with uh, low eyelids. He looks for uh, all the world, a sort of boy who grew up uh, pulling the legs from spires. The long road back to Grand should be more interesting than most years, you think. Alright. Weariness suddenly sets in and you chuckle to yourself about uh, what an odd day it has been. One of the governor's men in the great halls could find you in a uh, place to sleep. On the other hand, if you are uh, going to join Brown's caravan tomorrow, it might not hurt to share a drink with Fran or introduce yourself to the prince is spoke so highly of. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Scribbler. You find her in the meat house surrounded by other Varls. Stranding uh, strands to no stranger to Varls, but seen, rarely seen this many. Varl waves you over. Went straight for the flagon. Varls is one who agreed to pa uh, uh, pass up a drink. Uh, uh, I wasn't invited to the governor's hall anyway. I already missed the massacre. Every year I make the rounds collecting taxes. Every year it's the human settlements that give me trouble. No surprise. What's, the, what's this time? When I got there, the great hall was already full of bodies. We added a few more. Ah, humans. I guess it only lives as long as a yak fart. I might be desperate to make something of myself, too. It's not too late to start trying, Hakon. Hakon. <laughs> That's a low slip and a low chuckle. Uh, any of you know, could recount his deeds, knowing uh, as he was for cutting a swath through the dredge at Varen's side in the Second War, and regularly since then. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Down there I am a glorified bodyguard. You might have a point. Just another reason to get back to Grand's home. Soon enough, I imagine. Drink until oh, the meat house becomes overbearing, then step back into the cool of the night air. Let's talk to the wee lad, shall we? Is this the right place? You find the prince in the end. Guards blanket uh, the building, including a sharp-eyed varl who must be working for Loon. A woman in red eventually waves you over and stands nearby, cross, arms crossed. Greetings, Prince Luden. Yes, you must be Valgren. I remember. I don't remember you. Not exactly. I've known Vrana for a long time. I'll be joining you back to Valgren with my guards. Luna looks up for the first time. The woman doesn't react. Why? I worked for the king carrying tithings to the capital. We crossed by chance. Oh, a tax collector. Fine company. 
What do you want? I have a habit of recording history. I thought we might talk about your visit. A viral historian, haha. Don't you already know your king and mine both have a particular trumpet uh, throughout uh, cities? Been on the road for a while, I'm afraid. And takes a deep sigh. Whether tired or ungracious, you aren't certain. Maybe both. A formally, uh, formality, mostly, Baron came to our capital in Arenbar. Aren, Ar Arenbring. And now we go to the Varl's capital in Lothram to cement the Grand Alliance for the next age of men in Yara. You sound unconvinced? There's no need for it. It's damn cold up there. Get the sense that you're struggling not to complain outright. You take the opportunity to excuse yourself. Let's go to the Great Hall. The dawn you awoke by delivery of goods. At least you think it's dawn. Damn hard to tell when the sun has never moved. The governor crests Odorn with supply letters. All there just as promised to your mild surprise. You wonder if you had anything to do with that. Your guards take a treasure wagon down to the gates. Verona is already there. A while later, Lun and his men appear groggy and disheveled. Lauren steps forward. Lauren's quartermaster, if you recall correctly, I have charged this unwilling entourage of warriors. You know I'm only in passing. He asks if you are, re are ready to depart. We're ready. You follow her and the other uh, and join the others. Usually the smaller door sets into a, a gates would be enough to enter or leave the city, but the town guards have been told to push them open entirely. They mutter things under their breath that are not best not heard. Perhaps the governor expected you to draw a crowd, but there's something there's nothing of the sort, just frustration tired people. It summarized Strand well as a whole, you think. We begin the march. Man, that's pretty. So much treasure. The caravan stops for a day. A gift, says Runa, cracking open a mead cast from our gracious friends, the Governor of Strands. Hours passed with ravenous laughter as the mead is passed throughout the camp. Toast to Volar. Raise the drink, toasting alliance between Yara and men Yara, and the others join in. The expression is like a stone wall. But the others laugh at your exaggerations. Eventually you sit down beside Volner. Chat with Volner. Thanks for the speech, sirs, Volgren. So you didn't have to miss out after all. Thanks to Runa. I thought the damn governor would never shut up. Did he give you the history of his entire family? He tried. But when I, he asked me to clean up his mess for your benefit, it turns out. I'd be giving the job to you too, gods. There's no joy in politics. Speaking of, what happened after this business with Luden? Hopefully the boy goes back to Iron Rang on his own, and I can take out some frustration on Dread or something. Starting to sound like Harakon. Don't like the life of a diplomat. Ha ha. Don't you miss the fight, Oren? Down your bead instead, instead of replying. Bonus slashes and shakes his head. There's no joy in killing Dread, but this pretty much sure is nonsense as some scheme between the two kings to force some kind of lineage. Used to be warriors could follow you uh, for what you've done. Isn't that why they follow you now? It is, or it is because I am the next in line. These lines are getting muddied, old Varl. They've always been muddied, Varl. And I stare us into the campfire, lost in thought. You leave him to it. We rise groggily. The campsite is casually of merriment. 
And as the other hand's kicking warriors awake uh, when you spot loot and stocking in your direction. You sidestep sleeping bodies. Better wake up, you nudge. You're needed. Uh, it's Luden. Always a pleasure. You look well rested. Lorna releases a caged John and receives a hard eyed stare in return. How long to Gotham? Haha. We're only two days out of Strand, you know. Come, I'll show you on the map. Alright, drag the world map. Portray shows everything. When you're done, click the X. So we start here. We are going to Stonehelm, Skyhorn, Scrogger. That's cool. So we're going this direction. Cool. We head north, then east, past the forts. Garfin's far from Strand, going to be a long march. Should have drank last night, Loon. Why not take the ships to a uh, Skyrim scheme? What's the point of the march? The Silver Bay is called that for the Silverstone Bay is called that for a reason. It stays covered in ice all year. It uh, would tear up the long boats. Too bad, though, we could have shown you all the wonders of Skyrim, Mirren. Half sunk city crawling with dread prints, dredge, and glaciers. You like glaciers? Luna exhales through his nose, a poor disguise for his contempt. He turns and bats aside a tent flap as he does, barking at his company at the distance. Don't poke the anthill, Logan. He seems no happier to be here than you. Spend a few more days with the boy, old friend, and you'll be looking for a tall cliff to hop off to. <laughs> I like Waldron. Uh, Luton got a shorter uh, wick than uh, Hycron. Thanks, Waldron. Let's get moving. Uh, another half day of our uh, will or lucky. Yeah, man, just, just relax. Have a drink or two. Camion is where you manage your caravan. During travels, you can enter camp at any time by tapping on the camp button. All right. This is a good place to stop as any, and I will see you folks in the next video.